Are there more chores before Dungeon 4? What's going on, everyone? It's Rich Haywood here from Bacon Ice Cream Productions and Team RTFC, welcoming you to yet another episode of Good Times with Retro Rich. We have reached Master System Monday, but did we have to go through some weird time warpy things in order to get to where we need to go? Yes and no. So let me explain. You know we're talking about some Golden Axe Warrior, right? That's right. We're playing Golden Axe Warrior. We're trying to get through it. We've got our trusty maps. All right, we got our trusty maps. We're trying to get here. This is this is Dungeon Four, right? All right, we're trying to get right here. A one. That's our goal. We got to get there. It's crazy. I know a whole bunch of stuff that is going on in, on the way to Dungeon Four because I've got a confession to make. I recorded a half hour video where. I pounded my head against a wall because I was following my trusty guide, my trusty guide on GameFAQs. And again, if it's not in the description yet, it will be in this video. Uh, a, descri a, a link directly to the guide for the GameFAQs that I've been using, um, as well as the links to the maps that I've been using from um, good old Starfighter76, who came to save the day to remind me that I needed to read a little bit further. Now, before we jump into this, actually, you know what? No, let's jump in and then I'll start explaining what happened because silly, silly rich. That's what happened. Silly rich happened. All right, let's do this. <clears throat> All right, so here we are at the beginning of the game. Well, technically, this is the beginning of the game, but we are here at the beginning of the game and we are just sitting here chilling why are we here instead of all the way up at f5 well there's a couple reasons one reason one is during the half hour play i may or may not have uh read the map wrong where I needed to go to A5, but I thought A5 was actually AE because I read it wrong. I wound up pounding my head against the wall, going all this other stuff. It, it was a mess. It was a mess. That uh, that glorious night over the weekend was just an absolute disaster area. But we were looking for something very specific. What we were looking for was the longsword, which is very specifically said, hey, if you helped Gillian, go on over and get yourself your longsword over at A5. So I was like, all right, no worries. Then I went down from F5 after I went up to E5, e, A, E, and I found my way, F5, all the way down to A5. And I'm like, sweet, there it is. And there's the guy. And he says, thanks for helping Gillian. But you're not strong enough, so I'm not going to give you the sword. And I'm like, wait, what? That's not what the guide says. Well, no, no, no. No, no, no. Well, if I look down here in the items and other stuff locations bar here in the Golden Axe Warrior walkthrough overworld map by Starfighter 76, it says pretty clearly, Rich, what are you doing? There is a way to get something else. And you might need it before you go get the sword. Why does it say that? Well, when you look to find the um, the sword in A5, right? Where does it say it? Where does it say it? There's something in here. It, it does say it. Now I'm, I'm, lo I'm losing it. Oh, flint, um, not the flame sword. Long sword, A5. What does this say? Have seven hearts first. Let me look at the screen. See the touchy, 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 touchy screen? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I only have six hearts. So what does that mean? What does that mean? Rich, what's going on? What's up? What, what's happening? What does this mean? This means that I missed something. I was way, way, way back, right? So come with me on a journey, right? Come with me on this journey to silly towns. 
right, I'm running. I'm running straight through all this nonsense. All right. As you can tell, there's certain things that have already been done. Um, you know, here we are at this counter here. All right. I'm just going to duck in here real quick. This is H12. This is the first actual town you can you can visit on the way to Dungeon 1, right? Now, after you beat Dungeon 1, which is, as we all remember, we're going over here, all right? See, I already did this. All right, here's Dungeon 1, all right? There we are. We're, even gonna, we're just going to whack these guys, just because. All right. So here we are at Dungeon 1. After you beat Dungeon 1, directly under here, right, at J12, is another place you can go. Did we go there? No. Not in this playthrough. Because I think what happened was I got confused. I thought I messed up something else. And we restarted the game. I went through Dungeon 1 and got all the things, and I was happy. And it was like, oh, yeah, we didn't forget the thing. No, we didn't forget anything. No, nope, not, not me. Not this guy. We didn't forget anything. Except to go here. And why? Why is this important? Because if we go here... You have life. You get that guy, and he gives you a heart, and now you have seven. So now, now, my friends, we can go from J12 all the way through to A5 and have giant trucks go past you. Um, you can go from J12 all the way to A5. And pick yourself up a handy dandy long sword. Let's go ahead and do that now. Um, so yeah, so my bad guys. <laughs> um, I'm gonna I'm gonna actually put the the uh, so this is gonna be like one of those unusual uh, good times with retro riches uh, master system Monday. Um, I'm gonna leave the original video unlisted. All right, so you guys want to see the half hour about how to get. Uh, the other thing that you were looking for, so it wasn't just the, the long sword that we were looking for. We were also looking for the thunder scroll, um, which we have here. Um, and the thunder scroll can be obtained doo -doo 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 at G14, um, which is, no. G14. Not th I'm sorry, the, the Earth Magic Scroll. My bad. That's a D10. All right. Um, which, if you guys want to see where that is, real quick, I got you. Um, I already have it, but um, you know what? It's on the way. It's on the way. So let's let's just uh, let's just go for it. All right. Because um, it's actually uh, it's actually right here. Um, let me just get these guys out of the way here. Such a silly time. Ah. Okay. Um, so this one's a little hard to see. Uh, and I had trouble with it too. I actually went and, and bounced up and down or whatever in the in the in the playthrough. You'll see it. But right here is where you can put your magic rope and go up. Now these guys are no joke. The guys that like throw rocks at you and stuff. Um, just stay far away from those guys because those are that's not even a cool thing to have happen. And these like bouncing ball guys, like that's these are nuts. Like that's just not even a fun thing to do. Um, you have to uh, I, I, you either have to beat them or you have to uh, just chop down a tree. But this will this will be a thing that you can do. And then here's the guy. Um, he says working hard now because we already have the the thunder scroll. Uh, this is Battler, the Axe Battler, I guess. Um, and he's from or original uh, Golden Axe. Um, if you hear it in the uh, in the theme here. Yeah. 
So in the music, you can hear it. It's the original Golden Axe music, which is awesome. Um, and uh, he gives you for fifty horns, five five zero, or five, no one five not five five zero five zero. He gives you the horn. You give him the horns. He gives you the scroll. Bingo bango. You've got your Earth uh, magic, which is awesome. Uh, it doesn't do any damage to enemies, um, but does uh, help you out um, in uh, shaking up rocks um, and breaking them, so you can get you know further past uh, certain things. And uh, also, uh, which will be helpful inside of the dungeon, by the way, um, and um, and it'll also freeze enemies. Um, so if there's a, like a huge thing, you just drop some thunder magic and it'll shake it up. And it's kind of like using like the time thing, only you get to use it a couple of times if you you know if you're really in trouble. Um, and then also after you get the uh, the magic, as you see now, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pots of magic, so you can just unload, which is pretty awesome. So anyway, that's where we're at there, and then we can just boogie on out. Do 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 use our magic using our magic rope and get out of here. Now we're gonna head towards A5 and hopefully pick up the sword. Um, and then that'll be a wrap uh for today. And then we'll go to the wrap up and then I'll tell you guys um all sorts of cool stuff um in the in the wrap up. I don't even I don't know if it's cool, but I'll just tell you some stuff. All right. So as I referred to it before, this is what I would like to call the uh, running back or linebacker run. You just run, run, run. Because all these guys are starting to get a little too close for comfort. You get these axe throwing uh, dudes. They're gnarly. They're they're trying to get you. It's not it's not fun. And then you just get on up here. There's more of them up here. The throwing axes all over the place. Who cares? We're running. We're running for it. Um, and now. We've got seven hearts. It better not have to be full because we'd be really mad. But there it is. Thanks for helping Gillian. Here, Link T. Take this. It'll come in handy. I regret putting the T at the end of Link because this was supposed to be a test. And then it wound up being my full playthrough. Whatever. It's Link T. Well, what do you, what do you got? What do you got for me? Um, now we get it. You have the long sword because you needed the seventh heart because you needed to read the guide, Rich. You needed to read the guide. <laughs> there it is. Done. We got it. Um, so now we can uh, choose the long sword. And the long sword, I think, does a little more damage than the uh, than the shorter sword. Um, but I, I think it's – I don't know. Is it the same as the axe? Let's test it out. Let's test it out. Uh, we're gonna put on the long sword, um, and then we're gonna see if we can uh, if we can get anything. Not these guys, because I'm out of here. Um, I'm I'm running. I'm just doing this this uh, this running back linebacker run all the way the heck out of here. Oh my goodness gracious! All right, so let's see. Oh, nice. Yeah, so these are one-hit kills now with the longsword. I'm uh, I'm digging that. Nice. All right. So it is worth it to get this thing. Oop. Let's get uh, let's get on out of here. I'm gonna I'm gonna head back to the uh, the beginning, um, where we can hopefully get some stuff here. Um, let me just see if this is a. Uh... Oh yeah. That's nice. All right, here we are back at the beginning uh, of the game. I don't know why I came all the way down here. Um, I guess it's because it's the first and only free. Um, it's the only free state and in before we have to go up to Dungeon 4. So I think we're going to fill up now because it's free. Um, and then we'll go from there. And, of course, we got to save. Always have to save. Yeah. Stay at the end. All right, and then we're going to save. Yes. It's saved. So here we are at the very beginning of the game, 
Now with seven hearts, the long sword, and our earth magic. And I showed you how to go get them all without having to go through all the rigmarole of the 30-minute video that is unlisted. It'll be linked down below. All right. So there is that. If you guys want to see how that went down, of course, just go ahead and, and go to that unlisted video. Leave me a comment. Leave me a like down there. Um, tell me I need to read more. That's fine. I'll take it. It's it's a, it's just what happens. It's what needs to happen. Um, and, but now we are all prepped. We are ready to rock to go to Dungeon 4, um, and that'll be next week. We'll go Next week, we'll go to Dungeon 4. And you know what? Normally, I go to Dungeon 4, get the item, and then bounce. The way I'm looking at the map, it's going to be so hard just to get to Dungeon 4. I think I'm going to Dungeon 4, and to be honest, unless there's something cool at at B1, um, like a place to 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 get free health. Um, oh, wait, maybe C, maybe C3. Maybe there's an inn at C3. Um, there's no inns. There's no inns there. I don't know. There's no, no warp points. Um, what is that C three? Nothing. I mean, there's houses there. Earn two hundred horns, or a hundred horns at C two. Oh, that's it. That's a C two. This is like earn two, earn earn a hundred horns. All right. Well, we can get a hundred horns. That's fun. But there's nothing really, nothing else really there. So, yeah, I mean, we're going to have to make a run. You know, we're going to have to make a run for it, for sure. So we'll see how that goes. And then once we're in there, maybe we'll just keep pounding it out until we get until we get it. Maybe there's enough Maybe there's enough stuff inside the dungeon. Maybe there's some cool stuff in here um, as I look at some of the things you can get. Keys, warps, that's it. Nothing, nothing really. No treasures of any other kind other than the dungeon treasure and the boss. So... Again, I don't know. This is going to be a tough one, I think. Many continues ahead. But we might just press on, um, go to the blue necromancer, get him out of the way, and then bounce out. Um, because, uh, yeah, it's starting to get a little hairy. So let's go to the wrap-up. Um, you know, let's, we'll say uh, say bye here for now. Uh, and then we'll, we'll go to the wrap-up and see what is up. All right, let's do it. Uh, this is why you read guides, folks. This is why you read guides. Anyway, thanks so much for, for watching and hanging out with me on this crazy adventure where I, like, forget things. Um, shout out to, um, you know, the guide maker um, and and Starfighter76 over on GameFAQs. Without your help, I don't think I'd be getting through this game at all. Uh, especially since, you know, I had that whole thing where it was a half hour of me banging my head up against the wall. I mean, why don't I have this longsword? It tells me if I helped Gillian and I get the longsword and I helped Gillian and it said I helped Gillian and they said it needed to be stronger. And I'm like, I don't even know that. What is my life? <laughs> anyway, um, I'm, uh, you know, I'm super glad to now be prepared to go to Dungeon 4. And like I said, I don't think we're going to break it up next week. I think we're going to go to Dungeon 4. We're going to go straight straight for it. Um, and, uh, you know, maybe we'll do it recorded. Maybe we'll do it live. I liked when I did it, did it live. Let me know down below if you guys, if you made it to the end of this video and you want me to do Dungeon 4 live instead of Dungeon 4 recorded, let me know. Um, I'm going to say four people say I need to do it live. I'm doing it live. That's what, and that'll be. That'll be it. Uh, if not, we'll do it, you know, we'll do it recorded or whatever. Or if time needs, whatever. My life's been crazy. So thank you again so much uh, for watching. And until next time, we will catch you next time for some good times. I'm Rich. And we'll see you guys later. All right. Take it easy, guys. Take it, I